Now, SAR's Breakfast Club. It's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Good morning, Kevin. Update 46. Got a Friday morning and pleased to be talking with President Laura Douglas. Laura, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you, Hack? Good, good. I know you've been busy, busy, busy and doing a great job. I might want to include that. Uh, we're happy to have you along. I know you've got, of course, uh, spring 2021, the semester just around the corner. So you're getting ready for that, getting ready to prepare everything and keep everything uh, nice and safe as you have been doing. And also, of course, you are, you are supporting critical COVID-19 testing and vaccinations uh, efforts uh, throughout the community. So uh, things have been uh, pretty hectic, but it sounds like you got everything under control. Good for you. Well, it's been busy, but it's such worthwhile uh, work. Classes uh, started on January 25th, and prior to that, we brought back faculty for virtual opening days and professional days for professional development to kick off the semester. We had a great focus on equity and our new college governance model, which provides much more inclusive decision-making and better alignment uh, with our new strategic plan. So uh, those are really great days. Uh, the three weeks. Following the winter holidays, we had our winter session, which is a three-week mini-mester, uh, and uh, had great enrollment for that. Uh, spring has had a little bit of a decline in enrollment for us, uh, which is very much the trend for other community colleges. We are down this spring term by about 12%. And, and if you have read uh, the Boston Globe's article yesterday about the drop in community college enrollment, Bristol has seen a very similar decrease um, uh, with our hardest-hit communities being our black and brown students. Uh, our Hispanic Latinx students and our students of Cape Verdean heritage. This is where we've seen the largest drop uh, over this year in COVID-19. Uh, and of course, we're working really hard to, to bring them back and make sure that they get back on track. And um, the last uh, start of our spring term is next week with Flex Start. It's a late start pathway. Um, for students who might have been a little late in getting their um, uh, materials together, but it wasn't too too late for them to get enrolled in in at this time. So uh, we've seen, um, you know, just some some really great things happening. Uh, we've made some big decisions uh, uh, for the upcoming year uh, about our operations. We've we've been monitoring COVID nineteen infection rates and the vaccination rollout, uh, and we decided that summer twenty twenty one. Uh, will be uh, online and hybrid, more online than hybrid. Hybrid is a mix of online and face-to-face -face classes. And also our uh, staff will continue to be remote, the majority of our staff, that is, through July 12th. Uh, we have yet to make a decision about fall 2021, but we predict uh, based on, on, on everybody getting a vaccine that uh, we'll be able to really increase the amount of face-to-face -face learning um, and services, which will really be um, important. And, you know, we continue to lead with safety. Heck, I always say that, and we certainly appreciate the dedication of our faculty and staff and our students. Uh, they're supporting one, each other, one another. And, you know, our students have just ex uh, exhibited such great resilience. They've really done a great job, and they tell us, well, they don't really prefer online, but it's been much better than they thought. And I think that that's really a great statement from students. They're hanging in there, and uh, for them to graduate on time and get out there and get good, sustainable jobs, it makes it all worth it. All right. Well, that's a... That's a that's a good report, uh, uh, Laura. We, uh, I mean, it's 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 so difficult for everybody at at every level. Uh, probably not as a, as tough for college kids, but so for the grade kids, they're having a tough time. Some of the younger the youngsters out there. So it's been tough uh, for everybody, teachers and administrators, and uh, but 
hopefully we can get uh, to where it's a little more normal and maybe by the, the beginning of uh, the season next day in the fall of, uh, of this coming year. So we'll see what, uh, what it means. Uh, in the meantime, uh, speaking of COVID-19 and the implications of all of that, uh, certainly you've been busy with uh, testing, a, a great testing site, and also just uh, you just started with uh, uh, some uh, vaccine distribution. That, that, that's a, you know, the vaccines are... Uh, I guess it's there's a statewide connection, but uh, the program run by the uh, the fire department in Fall River and tests from the health department. Yes, and uh, that was kicked off this week, two days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we are so proud to become a regional center. It's called the Green Star Regional Center, and it is in partnership with the city of Fall River, the Fall River Board of Health, um, and then we'll also continue our stop the spread um, COVID testing with, with CIC Health. So those are really, uh, really, really important uh, ways to uh, keep this virus under control. Um, we were just thrilled to, um, to help out our seniors who are coming. It's the 75 plus category. Uh, our, our campus police did a great job in providing wheelchairs and shuttles to make sure everybody could make it safely uh, into the buildings to, to get their vaccinations. And uh, it really is a, a game changer. So, um, you know, it's been terrific. Our team has worked really well with um, with the Department of Health and also with CIC. The CIC site, if, if people have not um, come by to get a COVID-19 test, these are, first of all, these are both happening on our Fall River uh, campus. Uh, one section is for COVID testing. The other section is for vaccinations. They're far apart, so not to get confused. Um, but if you're coming to campus to get a COVID-19 test, through to stop the spread. We've got a big flashing sign that directs people to the parking lot. You don't have to get out of your car. It's like a drive up window to your favorite donut shop. You um, you drive up, you have to have an appointment and you have to register on mass.gov either for the vaccine or for the test. But you roll up to the window, heck, just like you're getting a coffee and a donut and they give you a little test. I and love that. you know, it's a little swab, you just kind of you know, don't stick it way up your nose, really easy, and you're in and out in no time. And, and we know testing is so important in stopping the spread. Yeah, no question about that. Well, listen, you've got a great team there, and, I, I you know, I get updates from my good friend uh, Joanne Bentley, who's uh, in the middle of it with facilities and all of that. But, uh, uh, and so just hearing all good stuff, so congrats on and all of that, it's a, it's like a part-time job for you, I guess, when you think about it. It's not talk about extra duty, right? That's right. But you know what? We are very delighted to help. And, you know, we have so many heroes in this community, so many people who have come together and volunteered their time uh, for the benefit of this community. And it makes me really, really proud to be at Bristol Community College, to be a resident of Fall River, and to be part of Bristol County. All right, President Larry Douglas, thank you. We'll see you next month.